Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today is a very, very, very exciting video. So if you haven't guessed by the title, I'm going to be trying out the Carbon Coco Magnetic Face Mask, which I'm actually so excited. I've seen a few like magnetic I've seen a few magnetic face masks like um on Instagram and things. Um but because they're recently releasing their skincare launch because I have done a review which I'll leave a link down below um of their like charcoal teeth whitener product but they've recently like done a skincare side to it so I'm going to be trying out their mask today which I'm super excited about. I love like masks like face masks just for relaxing like beauty treatment like self 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 care kind of thing so it should be good today. It should be good. So on the website here, it says that the magnetic action draws like draws out the impurities. It's soothing chamomile oil, calms redness, and is activated charcoal, which detoxifies the skin. So it's just supposed to kind of help clear out any impurities, like calm the skin if you do have like a lot of rosacea or redness in your skin, and also like detoxifies the skin as well. So this is the box that it comes in here. It's actually quite luxurious, I would say. It's um, quite a nice little setup that they've got going on here. And then this is basically what is... Ooh. And then this is basically what is included in the box. So this is the steps here. So it'll tell you what to do leading up to it and then, you know, how long to wait. You know, what to actually do. So that's kind of helpful because I actually haven't watched any videos on how to apply this. So I haven't had any kind of implications to all this video. Like I don't know if it's a good product or not. So that'll be good. It'll be just my own personal opinion. I actually don't know what these are for. So I'm going to have to look up. So this here is the magnetic like face mask remover. This is the actual product itself. The face mask. And then this is the applicator here. So it says to ensure your skin is clean with no makeup, obviously, or anything on it. I'm just going to go quickly over with a bit of micellar water. Just ignore the mowing in the background. <laughs> and my face halo, which looks dirty, but it's just stained. So I'm just going to pour a little bit of the micellar water onto my little face halo. And I'm just going to quickly run that over my skin. Just to make sure there's no dirt or any makeup or anything sitting on it. Not that there would be, but I didn't wash my face this morning, so I'm just going to kind of give it a bit of a quick cleanse. So this is the packaging that the actual face mask comes in. What is this? Like, it feels plasticky, but it actually looks like glass. It's really cool. And it has the ingredients list um, down below, plus their, like, social medias. And then this is the top as well, so their logo and everything like that. So it comes with a little cap on the top, and I've just pulled that off. So that's the product itself. And I'm just going to start going to town on my face. So I've just applied the mask. I was using the applicator at the beginning, but then I just gave up. I felt like I was like buttering a cake, buttering a cake. It felt like I was like icing a cake with that kind of spatula kind of wand thing. So it was applying really thick. So I just switched to my hands. So I just applied like a pretty even layer across the skin. On the box here, it says wait 10 to 15 minutes. So I've set my timer, we've got it going. So I'm just gonna wait I'll wait the 15 minutes to see like the best results um, and then I'll use the magnetic like wand to remove the mask. So I'll just like read you a little bit about the site since I'm waiting <laughs> for 15 minutes for my mask to do its thing. So they're like Australian brand. What I loved about this brand and what kind of caught my eye originally, they're 100% natural so they have no like nasties in there. You know whatever's going on to your skin is natural. Especially in face masks, you're not 100% sure like actually what is in them. Is it like harmful to your skin? Because, like, your skin is an organ, so it will absorb whatever is sitting on it. That's why I'm so conscious these days about even what makeup I'm putting on my skin. So, here I've got a little bit of information about the mask and what it does. So, if you guys are interested, just listen along. 
So what makes their mask different is that many charcoal masks are over drying and strip your skin of nutrients. So their mask uses a unique magnetic action to draw out the impurities without dehydrating the skin. So the mask is lifted away from the skin, removing with it built up dirt, oil, environmental toxins and dead skin cells, leading to healthier pores, skin rejuvenation and hydration. So the mask hydrates the skin, purifies, it won't over dry, it doesn't strip away any essential nutrients, it detoxifies, refines pores, naturally soothes and won't leave skin red or angry which is good. I've had a few masks previously where I have had like that redness. I think it's a detoxifying process but it does leave it a little bit red and angry. Um, it protects against environmental pollutants, is a natural calming fragrance and actually now that they've mentioned that I can actually smell like I think it is the chamomile or something in it like there is a slight like soft very subtle scent to it it's so nice and i realize it is quite relaxing i don't know if it's like that like placebo effect or something but actually it is quite lovely and it's not an overpowering scent i don't like fake scents i'm not a big fan of like sweet intense chemical fragrances i do like this subtle one that the mask is giving off so that is quite nice and it's a great little relaxing spa treatment for you guys it's cruelty free, yes I love this brand because it is cruelty free, it's Australian made formula and easy and fun to use. <laughs> so I'm still not quite sure what these are for, I actually haven't been able to see what they're actually used for, I think they're just to help like wipe off any extra residue or something like that I guess. Ah, this goes over the magnet, ah ha ha ha, boy I can't believe I didn't realise that. And they suggest to use this mask at night for like maximum absorption because you won't have anything else sitting on your skin. You'll just go to bed and your skin can just absorb it as you sleep. Okay guys, so I'm back. It's been 15 or so minutes. Actually, probably been a little bit longer. Only thing is, it's still kind of like, it's still pretty wet. So I don't know how well it's going to come off the skin. I'm not used to a mask still being like so moist, you know. But I mean, like, it says 10 to 15 minutes, and I guess that's why it's not, like, a drying mask. It's quite hydrating because it doesn't just and suck all the oils out of your skin. So here it goes. Here's the big test. Whoa. Holy. Wow. Holy. Look at that. Oh, my God. That actually took me so much by surprise. The way I just, like, to the skin. Like, I was not expecting that. So it says if it gets built up a lot and it's not really removing it, you can just wipe it over with a like tissue or something and then just keep going with the magnet. So, Oh my god, guys, this is so cool. What I like about it is that you can get right up along your hairline without any of the mask still remaining. It just comes right off, like even in my eyebrows. It's just coming right off. Gives like a tingly, almost like a little tingly sensation as you're wiping off the product. Any of those like little nook and cranny areas like around the nose, just like where it's hard to get that, like this little brush to fit. I'm just gonna wipe off with a towel. Oh, you know what I really like is that, it, like it said, it hasn't left a redness. Like I always, always get redness around here from like wearing any detoxifying face mask. But there is, and it just looks so smooth. It says you can even feel a kind of like oil residue, like a very light amount. It says to massage it into the skin once you've removed the mask, to infuse it and help create those nutrient boosting properties, like help really like absorb it into the skin. The only thing is like removing it from the actual like plastic packaging itself is really hard and really messy like I'm just getting it all over myself because see like if I take it off like you can see the magnets pulling it down and like there's still like little bits left on the actual magnet itself so this is how my skin is looking post mask it's definitely like created such a smooth kind of cast over my skin my skin literally feels so good it feels so nice and smooth actually i had like a huge like kind of redness i don't know if you're sure before i applied the mask but i had this like kind of red area here this morning that's really dulled down a lot that's actually pretty cool 
because it was quite angry and red this morning up there, but that's dulled down a lot. So overall, I'm pretty happy with this face mask. But yeah, it's up to you guys what you think of the end result and let me know down below in the comment section so guys this concludes today's review on the carbon cocoa magnetic face mask i do have mostly pros to this product the only con would be the like how messy it is like trying to like remove all the face mask from the magnet and everything and it getting all over my hands and on my legs and everything that's the only con the rest of it's just super pro i just like the face mask itself the fact that it's like not leaving that redness it's left my skin looking hella smooth hella clear so healthy and glowy so i really like that but yeah let me know what you think down below otherwise have an awesome day i love you all so much have a merry christmas and i'll see you very soon bye